We tend to worry about video and audio recording, but the quieter risk is the one that's much harder to control, and this is inference. Now, a normal day wearing an AI device throws off a constant stream of data exhaust. Location pings, motion sensors, heart rate from something like a ring, proximity hits, those things that are scanning for nearby Bluetooth devices. Now, none of this actually looks like surveillance, but when you stitch it all together, it paints an incredible detailed picture of your life. So let's walk through a hypothetical day and what that looks like. So at 8 a.m., you commute. The glasses log your home and office location. Your smart ring, it shows your resting heart rate is elevated. The inference there is you're stressed or you didn't sleep well. Now, 12.30 p.m. comes along and you take a lunch walk. You walk past a specific medical building, let's say a therapy office, and your GPS logs the proximity. And maybe your heart rate spikes just slightly. Now, the inference is a possible visit to a sensitive location. Now, let's move on through the day. At 4 p.m., you have a meeting. Now, you use the live caption feature. The metadata actually shows the duration and frequency of the meeting. And the inference there is your work cadence and possibly even your role with the company. Now, none of this, none of this at all is definitive proof of anything. It's just pattern math. But these patterns are incredibly valuable to advertisers and insurance companies and data brokers. Regulators have warned for years that this derived data, especially when combined with location, can be modeled in ways that people don't expect. The technology is designed to infer your state of mind, your intentions, and your attention. That is the entire point of ambient computing. It anticipates your needs, but to anticipate your needs, it has to watch you consistently. 